Good morning. Today I'd like to share with you my personal perspective on software iteration or how often should a, a company release its software. And I say personal because even within Dovico and everywhere in the world, I believe, this is a subject of much debate. On the one hand, you know, fast iteration is, is the sign of our times. And on the other hand, the balance between fast iteration and releasing something that really makes a difference in our clients' lives. <clears throat> I'm here in my backyard and I'm collecting maple, syrup, maple sap. As you can see, it's running. It's a beautiful day today and it's running and I'm boiling. And um, maybe to illustrate my point of view, and uh, it is my point of view, I do respect other people's point of view as well on this matter. And I, it's something that, it, something that has evolved over the last, you know, 10 years or so. And um, I'm sure that it's going to evolve even further in the next 20 years. And, <clears throat> but to illustrate a little bit about my thinking is, I'm going to tell you a little story about my grandson. One of my grandsons, my, my youngest is seven. And uh, he just turned seven. And for his birthday, we got him a Lego set. And as soon as we, he uh, unwrapped the gift, he wanted to, to assemble his set. And I said, okay, great. So I went down with him on the floor and I watched him with amazement on how fast he could build this Lego set. And he truly was fast. I think he set a world record, if there is such a thing. After he had done, I turned to him and I said, Alexi, would you like to go downstairs? I have all these Lego blocks that your dad used to play with. Would you like to go downstairs and play with them? And he just looked at me with puzzlement, with a puzzled look and intrigue. And he said, but Pepe, I wouldn't know what to build. And in a world of uh, you know several billion people, all working on the same Lego set, all working on the same plan. If we are a measurement is how fast we can build that set, then we are truly competing on a commodity. But the real question I have is, does it really matter? Is speed the real measurement? Or should we be measuring how well he can create and what he can create with Legos? Is society putting so much pressure on us to do something very fast instead of really doing something that matters, is my question. And that's where I believe that today I would rather deliver a software that makes a difference in your lives than one that's really, you know, fast turnaround. And I got to that point after, you know, my personal experiences with other software companies. Now, lots of software companies, large software companies, reputable software companies, are using this fast approach, fast iteration, constant iteration. There's not a day that goes by that I'm not plugging my phone or I'm not plugging my computer in, and there's a need for an upgrade. And to be frank, I'm getting a little upset of constantly having to, to learn and to test their software. Because it really, most of the time, it doesn't even affect or improve my productivity. All it does is diminish my productivity. And I'm concerned with that, and I'm getting upset about it. If I was to use a similar analogy and apply this particular way of doing things to a restaurant business, would you really go to a restaurant that every day the chef would be trying out new recipes for you, sometimes bad, sometimes good, and the whole experience would change every day? Would you really be, would that really be a place that you could earn their trust? And then more importantly, would you pay for it? Because that's what we're doing with software companies. We are paying to test their software. And that's why I believe today that it's more important to make a software that matters than it is to make a software that's fast or fast delivery, I should say. So, you know, 10 years ago, we did several iterations a year. We did you know, up to six iterations a year. And uh, we went there from, you know, and, and of course, you know, the size of the uh, features that we were implementing or the things that we were changing, you know, hardly mattered to you. But now we're really uh, focused on releasing less often, 
by releasing something that's going to improve your productivity, that's going to improve your lives. Without asking you to do our work, we have an obligation to you. And that obligation is to produce a, pro a product that's going to help you do your work, that's going to help you accomplish your job and your project. And if we fail to do that, are we really serving you well? As you can see here, <clears throat> I'm sitting down, relaxing, and there's a pot of, uh, of uh, sap being boiled down. And I, you can see the, 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 uh, the, the steam coming out, and it smells just wonderful. I'm hoping you'll join me for my third segment and final segment, and I'll show you the result of all this work of uh, collecting the sap, boiling it down. It's a, I have to boil down 50 to 1 approximately to get my, my maple syrup. Uh, and next week, I will share with you what we do with this maple syrup. I thank you very much.